it's Lisa from Eat Play London and today I want to talk to you about five things that we can do that will help reduce our carbon footprint but also help save us money. So first up I want to talk to you about reusable cups. So yeah, seamless. You'll see practically everyone, I was on the train yesterday and practically everybody had one of these. This is a keep cup. This costs about, it's under 10 pounds, I think it's like nine pounds or 8.95. I've got this uh, particularly jazzy colored one because I can spot it in my bag. Um, or this is a Frank Green one. The only difference on this is you can stop the flow from coming by using this little hole here. So sometimes if I chuck this in my bag after having a coffee, coffee goes everywhere, this will stop that from happening. But that's like 20 quid, but very stylish. And uh, that also keeps your drinks hot and cold for hours too. So you can buy these, obviously online from lots of different stores, but some stores also have it. So when you buy them, you get a free coffee inside. I got mine from Not Coffee in Victoria and I got a free coffee inside. So that saved me four quid that day, three pound 50, four pounds. Um, yeah, also when you use a reusable cup, many coffee shops will give you money off. And the best ones I have found is Pret, offer a whopping 50p off and also pure coffee offer 50p off but they also do free plant milks um, and almond milk, coconut, soya and oat for free. So you are looking at £2.35 for your latte instead of, I went to Nero's the other day, £3.10. Three, that's, a, that's quite a big difference and that was using my reusable cup because I had to pay for the milk and also pure coffee is so much nicer and the staff at Victoria Station one are lush. You also at Pure, um, this isn't an advert for Pure but I'm a massive fan, um, they have water, still in sparkling water taps available too and they're just really amazing at thinking about the environment and the food's really fresh and also you can buy a collapsible coffee cup from there think they're about £10 and they're quite handy because you just don't need much space in your bag um, and you get a free coffee from them when you buy the collapsible cup from them. So first one that is all about your reusable coffee cups which a lot of you are doing already just make sure you've got one in your bag but also you can save 50p per coffee if you're having one every day that's £2.50 a week which is more than £100 a year you'll save. Oh plus Prep do 99p filter coffee with a reusable cup that filter coffee is 49 pence. 49p, amazing. Um, next up, Chili's water bottle. Obviously, you don't have to use Chili's. I chose a Chili's one, a proper one, because I was so sick of my water bottles leaking in my bag constantly. So I thought, pay a little bit more money, get, get what you pay for in life, kids. Um, this will keep your drink hot or cold. It's a bright color, so I can see it. They have some gorgeous, amazing designs for Chili's as well. I think they got up to about 25 quid. There are cheaper alternatives you can buy in the shops. I just wanted to get a proper decent one that I know is a good make. Um, I've dropped it many times, as you can see from the dents in it, and it's absolutely perfectly fine. So they have free water refills now in lots of stations. Lots of shops are taking part in initiatives too. Um, shopping centres will have a free water outlet, water fountain, as you were. Um, I noticed one in Victoria Station the other day, just opposite W.A. Smith's, like I said. Also, Pure, if you go and buy something from there, have free filtered water available in the little tap things. Fantastic. So that could save you quite a lot of money too. And once again, really helps save the waste of the plastic bottles. Um, next, I want to talk to you about coffee that you make at home. I mean, you could save an absolute fortune by making it at home and then putting it in your reusable cup and traveling to work with it and then not having to buy one on the way to work. Hey, um, that's what I'm here for. So this is an espresso maker. This one is a Bialetti. Don't know if I'm saying that right. There are loads of different brands, but this is great because you don't need any paper filters. You don't need any little plastic capsules. So you're also saving money and you're also saving on a lot of waste and you don't need anything else. All you do, is super simple. Put water in it. I've only just washed it, so I'm probably gonna get dirty coffee stuff everywhere. You put your water in the bottom. <laughs> oh no, my arm. Water in the bottom, pop that in, put in your coffee, stick it on your stove, and within minutes that'll start bubbling. Pour it out, add whatever milk you want, 
jobs are good and makes a really good coffee. Like I said, no waste. So you're saving money there. And you're also saving having to like buy lots of different bits. I used to use um, one with a little paper filter in. I've also used ones with pods before. And it's really expensive. And that makes a really decent cup of coffee. All right, I'm gonna go off piste a little bit now. Um, cotton wool. If you're using a lot of cotton wool, that's quite a lot of waste going on there. Or just anything, um, tissues to clean your face, wipes, cosmetic wipes, that's the word I was looking for. My lovely friend Tracy knitted me these. So they're washable cotton wool pads. I mean, look at the effort that's gone in there. She gave me those as a gift. So if you can knit, that's a lovely thing to do. I don't have any talents in that department. So I bought a pack of baby washcloths from Poundland. Three super soft washcloths for a pound. All I do is, you're supposed to use pinking shears, but I don't own any pinking shears, and they were about six quid to buy, and then I thought, if I'm saving money, it's kind of a bit pointless. But pinking shears will stop the um, edges from fraying. So all I'm gonna do here is cut some up into sizes that I need. I mainly only use it for a bit of toner and um, extra eye makeup remover because I use flannels. I like to properly wash my face. Cut up some squares, like that. Apparently just general cotton's great too, so you can go and buy something from a charity shop that you, a nice bit of cloth that you use. Um, but I really like the feel of this because it's nice and soft. And then you also want to get, because they're really small, um, you're not going to do a separate wash for these, so it's not like you're going to be using any extra water. Get one of these, attach it to your washing bag, and you put your little delicate undies in there too, and then put them in there so they stay all together because otherwise they're going to be all over the place. Um, and there you have some reusable, sustainable equivalent of a cotton pad. There we go. And lastly, it actually scares me how much plastic is currently in my bathroom with all the products that I'm using. So I had to really think about what I could do to reduce that. And I've come to the conclusion that coconut oil, this was bought from Lidl for like £1.89 and it's raw, organic, extra virgin coconut oil. Um, I'd keep it one separate for your beauty needs and one separate for your cooking for hygiene purposes. But this little thing does loads and loads and loads of different things. So you're already saving money. Um, it's glass, so it's easier to recycle. It's not plastic. Um, you can use this as a mouthwash. You can use it for your cuticles. You can use it as a body lotion. It also, studies have shown, I'm not a scientist. I did get a double A star on my GCSEs though. Um, studies have shown that it does help prevent UV rays. I wouldn't use it as a suntan lotion. Don't be doing that. I'm just saying it's good for the old skin. Great for chap lips. The thing that I find it is most amazing for it, and um, I've got really frizzy hair. I've spent a fortune in my life on anything that will make it stop being quite so frizzy. I wake up in the morning, look like Bonnie Tyler, um, which was great, but it's no longer 1982. Shoulder pads aren't in, neither is massive, massive, massive hair. Um, overnight hair mask. It's literally the best thing ever out of all the hair masks I've ever used. Little bit of this, well, melted in, in a microwave or on a pot on the uh, stove. Put it on your hair overnight, wash it in the morning. You have to give it a really good wash because otherwise your hair will look greasy. And it is so conditioning. Um, so at the moment, I've, well, not at the moment, but I had lots of different bits of plastic for my, my mouthwash, for uh, my, she can also mix it with some sugar and use it as a body scrub too. There are literally endless uses for this. I'll probably put it in the post because I've forgotten half the uses for it. But it just means you've got one product here. Oh, eye makeup remover, fantastic. You've got one product here that is covering lots and lots of different things. So you're saving money and you're also just saving all the packaging for those little products because practically your beauty products are currently in plastic. So that is my five things. You've got the, you've got your coffee cups, which you can save if you use them, you can save 50p at selected shops. You've got your water bottle, which is gonna save you having to go and buy some water. Um, you've got your coffee, which you can use without having to buy any filters or plastic capsules or anything for your coffee. 
you've got your homemade cotton pads or cosmetic wipes and then you've also got your coconut oil um, none of these guys have paid me any money for me to mention them if you do have any recommendations for products because I do really struggle with beauty stuff I did buy hair shampoo and a soap didn't rate it at all didn't really do anything so you do have certain soaps and things you can get in packaging that's not plastic um, which is fantastic but not so much if they're not very effective and they can be quite pricey because they're aware that people are looking for things like that also things like razors too they're all plastic um, so if you've got any recommendations or you are a company that sells these kind of things please let me know in the comments below and I will check them out thanks so much for watching and I hope you found some of these tips useful